Today I want to talk to you guys about three things. They're the center of everything else. All other areas of life kind of feed off these three things. It's very easy to look at these three things and say, yep, definitely agree that they bleed into each other so much on, on such a high level. A lot of people think, cool, you know, to fix myself, all I need to do is sleep more, eat better, exercise, and get a balance in those three things, in those three areas of life, and I'll be, I'll be golden, I'll be all roses, and I'll be happy, and I'll be fulfilled, and everything will be great in my life. But what we forget to do is access spirituality. And I know that that word gets thrown out there and people are like, ugh, I'm not getting into that. That's too out there for me. It's not, it's actually within, it's deep within you and it always exists. The, the gap there is ignoring it, um, creates a lot of misalignment, a lot of uh, tension because you're not living in alignment with your truth. So your spirituality, call it what you want. Some people call it consciousness, your higher self, your truth, God, all of that, your, your why, your purpose, your values, your belief, your intuition, your heart, your gut, that instinct that's inside of you that we all feel. And I'm, I'm pointing to my heart because that is where it comes from. Science shows us that the heart is made up of actual neural tissue, which is what the brain is. You know, everyone thinks that information comes in and it is processed by the brain, which it does, like our, our senses and, and everything that we see, all that information is getting processed by the brain. Your heart is also receiving information as well. And your heart is sending information to your brain to be processed by the brain. And so many people don't know that. And so they're living in their head, they're living in their emotions and that is governing, you know, their whole life. That is, that is one of those pillars that I spoke about at the start. And that is creating such a gap because you're not listening to the information that is coming from deeper within you. That is your intuition. That is your truth. That is your unique purpose. That is your spirituality. So we need to learn how to listen more often and to go within. And there's so much fear that surrounds this, whether it's social stigma of just being a spiritual person. You know, some people just, they don't align with that. They don't want to play in that, um, in that area of life. They just want to put that aside and put it in a box and not touch it. Um, there's fear around what you will find if you go within. I put out an Instagram quote the other day and it really didn't gain much traction. And I think that's because not many people really got what I was saying. I asked the question, are you living in your emotions or are you living in reality? Both is not an option. And what I mean by that is when you're living in your emotions, you are actually living in a perception of your reality. You are not, you're not living in reality. And this is hard to, to kind of grasp, but you are living in a version, your version of reality based on your mind, based on the information that's being cultivated by your memories, your experiences, your past conditioning, your Basing your perception, you are living in a in a perceived reality, and that's that's true for for everyone. But when we can zoom out and when or you know it's it's hard. I can use two ways of explaining this. We either zoom out and we can kind of see ourselves in reality, and we can see all of the information around us. So we can see all of the the good and the bad in a, in a situation because in every experience in every situation in nature in life there is a good and there is a bad and they are equal there is an equal positive and negative that exists in every situation when we're living in our emotions we are either 
positively biased or negatively biased. But when we are living in reality, we can see both. And so we have the ability to do that. But a lot of the time we are just so consumed in our emotional state that we literally cannot see the other side of things. Either we don't want to see it, we're scared of it, or we're running on an emotional high and we're just high on that energy and we can't see both sides. So that's kind of like the zooming out. The other way of looking at it is going deeper within. When you think about all of those situations where you get so emotional that you're not working from that that intuition um, or that higher self, that higher state of consciousness, that deeper state of consciousness, you're not working from that place, therefore you're not getting the whole picture, you are not living in reality, you are living in your emotions. The more that you can connect with reality, with consciousness, the better decisions that you can make and the more flow there is to life, all of a sudden you're not caught up in in results you have faith that everything happens for a reason and you know that this is serving you on a bigger scale you know that this is serving the universe on a bigger scale all of a sudden you have this deep level of knowing and trusting that this is all serving a purpose you still feel the emotions you just have a deeper understanding of where they're coming from and you get to make a choice are you going to choose to live in those emotions and let them govern your world govern your life or are you going to live in reality 